a reading revolution. From libraries to elementary schools to college campuses, real books, the kind you can hold in your hand, are being replaced by e-books downloadable to a handheld device. Is it a gimmick or could it transform the way we read and learn? It's not a rock concert or a food festival, but books that are drawing these crowds to the National Mall, the printed page still has the power to enthrall. Though at this bookmobile, there's not a printed page in sight. They can download um, digital media for free, and that's audiobooks, ebooks, music, and video. And it's sponsored not by some high-tech company, but by your public library. Surprised? Libraries are changing with the times, says Washington, D.C.'s chief librarian. Well, we used to be the place that held the books. We're now in some places the connection point. Many public libraries now make books available via their websites for free. All you need is a device to download them and a library card. No returns, no late fees. The titles actually automatically expire at the end of each lending period. So there is no worry for the expiration dates or having to go back to the library to physically return the book. Overdrive, the company that manages over 9,000 library websites, estimates 30 million people visited the website of their local library in 2008, a 63 percent increase over the year before. It's gotten more people reading one way or another, and I think that ebook format really appeals to a lot of folks. I see them on metro, I see them on airplanes, I love it. And now on some college campuses, ebooks are replacing textbooks. This fall, six universities were selected to try the Kindle DX, Amazon.com's newest digital reader. I'd like to think that what you hold in your hands tonight is uh, the future. And how does the future feel for students at New York's Pace University? Some of my friends have come out of the bookstore paying $800 for a semester of books. So with the books being so cheap on the Kindle, it's definitely well worth it. It's kind of confusing to, to learn how to, you know, navigate and stuff. You know, I'd, I'd rather, much rather just, you know, open up a textbook and flip to the page. And going digital can be costly. The newest Kindle DX sells for just under $500.